In the previous episode, we grabbed a car from Enterprise and drove all the way to Bristol for one last trip of exploring, a bit of shopping, and of course, more chips. And then we drove all the way back home and collapsed on the sofa. It's early in the morning and we've got to take the car back. When you hire a car, you hire it for a 24 hour each period. Because we picked it up at 9 a.m., we've got to drop it back off at 9 a.m., which is why we're up so early. We're back. Woo! Bye, car. So I finished work for the day now and we've got a special little activity today because one of our friends Josh is a bosun of the SS Great Britain in Bristol which we visited recently and he is going to teach us how to do some actual proper knots. <laughs> So we all sat down with our little bits of training rope and Josh ran through a bunch of different knots for different situations. It was such a good class and Josh is an excellent teacher. And then we headed a little bit down the river to practice on some real world scenarios. And we've stumbled across a pub quiz in the pub right outside the boat. So we're going to do that then. A £25 voucher, a bottle of wine, a packet of crisps, and nothing in there. Drum roll, please! You have won! quite early and Amy's sister is coming to visit today but we're really smelly and we're not moving until tomorrow but we are running pretty low on water we think so we're just going to nip to the water point and then sit on the two day moorings in Bathampton Squirted Amy in the face. <laughs> Sorry. Right, now that that's done, just gonna reverse back onto the two day moorings. It's quite windy though. 
Look at this though, tied up with their, a cow hitch, which is one of the ones that our bosun friend Josh taught us the other night. So we want to get on this nice straight bit and <laughs> Rufus is currently driving because the boat is in gear, reverse, and then we're just steering it. But technically Rufus right now is the captain of this vessel <laughs> and he's crying. <laughs> the overwhelming responsibility is getting to him. Rufus, you're doing a good job buddy. Lovely spot. I haven't done the excess of twizzly bit. Oh, our new rope technique. So normally I go round and round and round and round and make a really neat looking rope. But one of the things you should always do is be able to get them off quickly in case of an emergency and that's not great for it. That is enough to stop the boat ever drifting on its own. And that's it. Done. My sister and her boyfriend Sam have come to visit us. We're heading into Bath. It's a bit windy today, by the way. I feel like we've said it a thousand times before, but this should be <laughs> our last time in Bath. We've got itchy tiller, as Alba would say, and we just want to get going. Yeah. So one last trip. So we're going on a cruise today with Jess and Sam. Jess is doing the ropes. Oh, straight in the water already. <laughs> Sorry about that. Right, unravel it and then jump off with it in your hand. Oh God. Quick, because it's going out. Right. Jess is going to drive. If you stand there, look straight ahead. And then basically, if you want to go that way, push it that way. If you want to go that way, push it that way. So push it the opposite way. But little so movements. Like, yeah, so it like steady. It take a little bit. There's always like a bit of lag between when you do something and when the boat moves. What do you think? being in the city we just like being out in the middle of nowhere we like being in the city a little bit and then being able to come back out and we've been in bath for such a long time now well at least the general area so it's nice to be able to move on and see new things have a little detox yeah it's nice Jess and Sam have left now, and we're right near the Dundas facilities, so I'm gonna do a poo run now. Oh, this one. No, this one. What's it? Get in. Cassette's emptied. Another coal bag down. Another coal bag down. We're at the point now where we're trying not to buy too much more coal, because we're only really putting it on in the evenings now. It's 
spring is getting closer. So we're trying to weigh up whether three will last us because the coal, the fuel boat's right there. I don't think we need any more. The thing is though, is that you don't want to run out because then you'll be freezing, but you don't want to have too much because then you've got to lug it around all summer. I think we'll be fine. So we've dropped Jess and Sam off, we've done all the facilities that we need, and now we're gonna try and get to Bradford and Avon, where we're gonna moor for the week. It's so weird. How long ago has it been since we were here? I don't even know. The last time we went to the dive barn, which was when... Christmas? No. It's been at least a month, maybe two. I genuinely can't remember the last time it was. Someone will have to let us know. <laughs> this section between the two aqueducts is really pretty and it's really quiet and the towpath's kind of nice but you can't stay here for a week because the internet is absolutely awful out here and I've got to work. So while we do our cruise, I'm gonna do a little project to turn our boat into a smart boat. <laughs> <laughs> so we ordered these things online called NFC tags. You tap them onto your phone like this and there's a reader in the phone. I think it's the same one that does the contactless. So you scan it and you can make it do things on, on the phone. So I've got some narrowboaty ideas for these. I've made them identifiable. I'm just gonna go into shortcuts on the app, scan it, and then you can add actions to what happens when you scan it. So now, and I just boop it on there, and it opens the app, and it speed tests for us. We're cruising along. Boop, it opens the maps for us. We're just about to go over it. There you go, you can see over the aqueducts. I'm stood on the roof. New drone. So the Avon is running really fast and if you can see the pub garden is flooded. Drip, 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 little April showers. Glad we went when we did. We're here at Bradford and Avon. Just found a nice little mooring as well. Careful. Standard. Go on, Wes, give it all you've got. believe how quick it is. We timed our Bristol trip so well. I would not want to have taken the boat on there going that fast. I remember when we came to Bradford and Avon ages ago and there was that disco for fundraising for the skate park. They did it! That's really cool. There go. Spring really is starting to appear everywhere now and it's really cute because Bradford and Avon is where we spotted our first sign of spring this year. Wes is nerding out about knots now. I'm obsessed now. I've used the cow hitch to attach roofers to this bench. It is really good though, look. It's very loose. 
And it moves the bench before it moves him. Look how easy it is to do as well. Wow. There you go. Oh no, Wes. We're going closer to that place. What place, Amy? Rufus, you're just waiting for a few minutes. Good so quiet. Look, Rufus is happy as anything now, now that the waiting is over. Because of the ledge, it just looks like we just haven't bothered to more very close to the bank. But that is as far in as you can get. Oh, we're home. <laughs> oh, it's weird. It's quite a lot deeper. I wanted to do it. <laughs> Close. That was a great joke, Amy. I wanted to do it like... It's rained since we last did it, hasn't it? Yeah. watching and make sure to subscribe for more episodes and a huge thanks to our patrons and the bags of chips check out our socials and we'll see you next time <laughs>